welcome from Houch and Smith Stadium in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Graham Doty, Chip Hoback, happy to have you with us for this Conference USA clash between Western Kentucky and Old Dominion. And Chip, huge game tonight for both of these teams. They're both looking for their first Conference USA victory on with an ankle injury. Eric Megwood is now playing right tackle as well for Old Dominion. As LaRusso will dial one up down the field and a leaping catch is made around or downs midfield. wherever they are on the field on the season old dominion 31 percent dead last in conference usa and third down conversions larusso on third and seven slings it near side in traffic and lost and leads so here's Davis Shanley making start number three on the season and he starts it off with a completion for a first down. Big play for the Hilltoppers. Shanley with a clean pocket, throws near sign and a catch is made by Jaquez Sloan to move good. the sticks. I would say so. <laughs> this is play number seven of the opening drive of the night for West Kentucky. It's another handoff. This is Appleberry, works his way inside. Coming out of the timeout, West Kentucky goes with a shovel pass to the tight end, Myquan Dean, who bangs his way in the end zone. So Western Kentucky, for the second time this season, marches down the field and scores on their opening drive of the game. Here Strong, Strong has that first down on the ground for Old Dominion. Nice third down conversion. Established things on the ground. Yeah, La Russa coming off a game a week ago in which he threw for career high in attempts against Marshall. Looking deep here, will now tuck off and run. A nice room as he gets past the linebacker. Holt slides down in Western Kentucky territory. Kashawn Strong back in the game for the Monarchs. Play action for LaRusso, floats one up for Fulgham, who reaches up and comes down with it inside the four. Deontay Ferris in on the coverage. That's the first catch tonight we've seen from the senior, and that's a new career high for Travis Fulgham. And watch Fulgham here. He thinks he gets into the end zone because he's laying on top of the hilltopper as he spins around. He thinks that's a touchdown. One of the big targets I was talking about just a second ago, and the running game opened up that play. Strong looking for the equalizer, dives in the end zone for the touchdown. What a drive by Old Dominion. In the backfield, a freshman from Atlanta, Georgia. Gets the carry and Appleberry finds a seam across midfield, dragging defenders, stopped at the Old Dominion, 42. That's a big explosive play from Appleberry. Shane Lee to the tight end. Kyle Fortenberry. He's in Jordan Young again on the stop for the Monarchs. Tempo again from Western. And this time Shanley hit and dropped in the backfield. It's out on the field going for it on fourth and two for West Kentucky. They're just two for nine this season on fourth down. That's Sloan in motion. It's a handoff to Appleberry, and Appleberry is stopped short of the line to gain, and the old Dominion defense holds on fourth down as Jordan Young again Controls with a huge marks offense. Rusa three for four so far in this first quarter. Will throw on first down, and there is Duhart who moves the sticks all the way up to the receiving. Field. He's going to draw a lot of attention because he's a big threat out there, so they'll double team him a lot of the times. Back on the ground on first down is Strong, and Strong picks up 10 yards. That's a little bit. On second and six, LaRusso whips one to Travis Fulgham again, a first down. He was already down, and here the up tempo again. Will Knight in the backfield on second and seven. Clean pocket for LaRusso. Far side of the field. This could be dangerous for Fulgham. And Fulgham runs out of bounds. Here's the freshman at the five. Brought down by Key, just shy of the goal line. Flag comes in. 
And Lala Davis looks good. They've got plenty of depth at that uh, tailback position. Been a pretty clean game as far as penalties go. Only two total, both on Old Dominion. Personal foul. Targeting. Defense. The previous play is under review. Tar so a targeting has been called by Justin Elliott, and they will review this one. Look at this. Well, there's a helmet to helmet right there. That's the one they're going to call is 31. There is a personal foul for targeting. Defense, number 31. The penalty is half the distance to the goal. Number 31 is disqualified. It's going to hurt your depth at the cornerback. So the freshman, Will Knight, in the backfield. First and goal from the one with the clock winding down. Knight searching for his first career touchdown, and he's in the end zone, and Old Dominion takes the lead for the first time tonight. Another third and long for Western Kentucky. Monarch showing blitz. They back off. Let's see if they change what they want to do. It looks like Shanley changes the play at the line with five on the play clock. Old Dominion does not blitz. Shanley over the middle and a first down reception made at the 41 by Lucky Jackson. They converted a third and long moments ago. And they bring Shanley back in the game for the long third down. Shanley good protection. Fires caught by Fordberry. He gets popped Barry, immediately. The running back. Shanley. A lot of room off that left side. Throws for Lucky Jackson and another first down for West Kentucky uh, on second and five. There's a handoff, a lot of room for Appleberry. Appleberry at the one, just gets nailed out of bounds. And again, another late flag is thrown. Davilia with a big hit on Appleberry. Well, that shows you what I know. Give it to Appleberry. I was saying, you just, why not pass the ball? But Appleberry comes in, Holding. makes a great Offense. play in here. Number two, 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Holding wipes out that run. Down. And that wide receiver Sloan. Yeah, that was right at the end of the play too. He'd already picked up the yardage, so that, that hurts. On first and goal, here's Appleberry, and Appleberry stops shy of the goal line. Second, second and goal back to Appleberry, plunges in the end zone for a touchdown. His second touchdown of the season. Uh, but they've established a good ground game as well. Already 350 yards in offense in this game for if you combine the two teams. LaRusa, here's a long throw and a leaping catch made by Fulgham as he is tripped up inside the 40. And it kind of makes you wonder, you know, if this game is going to come down to a couple of defensive stops because both teams putting up a lot of yards. Old Dominion one for two tonight on third down. Monarchs have third and nine. LaRusa fires in traffic incomplete. Hard field goal attempt for Nick Rice. His long this season is 48. Kick is up. He has the leg and the kick is good. It's Old Dominion. 70 yards rushing for the Hilltoppers tonight. They go tempo, a lot of room for Samuel, gets popped at the 30. Empty set here for Shanley on third and five. Shanley scans the field, it's a high throw and it's incomplete. This is a 41 yard field goal attempt for Alex Ranella. Attempted his first one last week, he missed it from 50 yards and this one is good on second and six. Speed option, the pitch to Davis. And Davis shakes free momentarily and is still able to pick up three yards. Loose ball. The ball came out and Evan Sainer says that he recovered the football. Keys to the game, win the turnover battle. That's the first turnover in the game. Shanley throws to the tight end, Dean, and Dean at the 35. Look at Dean go all the <laughs> way up to the 41. It takes a host of Monarchs to bring him down. Passing 92 yards on the ground. So they've got a lot of good options here. Here's Samuel, and Samuel with a first down for the Hilltoppers. 
A good balanced offense for the Hilltoppers tonight. Rolls out to the left here. Now will take off. Shanley with a first down run as he spun down inside. We talked about him a lot. He hadn't made many tackles yet. This is about the time where he makes an impact play. It's a screen to the tight end. Dean, and he picks up a block. And Dean inside the 20. Shoved out of bounds inside. Shanley will now be an empty set. Old Dominion, all kinds of trouble defensively getting lined up correctly, and it's a throw to the tight end, Fortenberry for the touchdown. His second of the season. Wow, they had options there. Three receivers shifted out to the left. In for Old Dominion from their own 32. Play action for La Russa. La Russa launches it deep down to Fulgram, who makes the catch and runs out of bounds. Third and four for the Monarchs. One for three tonight. Now here's another conversion for Kashawn Strong and Key against shot in Old Dominion. LaRusso hands it off to Strong and Strong again breaking tackles inside the 10. Six three wide receivers at the bottom of the screen. Here's Knight and Knight drops by Penn. Oh, plugging that hole. Old Dominion keeps it on the ground to Strong, and Strong is dropped by Key. Fourth and goal from the three. Remember, we talked about a crucial play for Western Kentucky early. They went for a fourth and two and didn't get it. The Monarchs, fourth and goal from the three. So LaRusso will throw on the move, throws it back across his body, and it's broken up. Hand off to Appleberry, and he's stonewalled at the line of scrimmage. You know, that's one where you want to try to get a little breathing room in the end zone, but also a lot of teams like to attack on first down when you're that close back. Another handoff to Appleberry, and he said hard. No game. He got popped. And Shanley throwing right into the wind. And it looks like it's, you know, 20 miles an hour out there. It's not a subtle win. He's in trouble here. A flag is thrown, and Shanley will just get rid of it, and it's dropped by uh -huh. Sloan. But this this could be a safety, depending on if it's a holding call in the end zone. Sean Carter pleading with the officials, and Sean Carter says this will be a safety. And it's holding. spot with the wind howling the way it is on third and nine. LaRusa with a shovel pass to Strong and Strong will have the first down. It right, looks like he's a yard short where the mark is from the far side. So the Monarchs are going for it again on fourth down. They did not convert last time. Fourth and less than a yard. And they will throw, and there is a first down for Duhart who coughs up the football. And the Monarchs say that they recovered. Oh, now the other officials coming in saying incomplete. Wow. That was fourth down, turnover. Team. We'll see if Western can get some offense going into the win. They haven't been very successful so far in this half. Shanley hit as he throws, but he puts it on target to his. Up tempo from the Hilltoppers. Shanley this time will keep it. Shanley runs out of bounds inside the 25. The backfield on third and three. It's Dean in motion. Play action. Looks for Dean in the end zone and it's incomplete. Oh. This is a 33 yard field goal attempt for Ranella. He made one from 41 earlier. Snap is down, the kick is up and it is good. Four wide for La Russa. La Russa pump fakes, nailed, loses the football, scooped up by Ben Holt. Ben Holt picks up a block oh, down the sideline and he tiptoes out of bounds <laughs> around the 27. Just inches away from a scoop and score. He had nobody in front of him and 
he didn't know where he was on the sideline and just ran out of bounds. He had nothing but the black end zone. He could see the black end zone in front of him and stepped out. Once again, we talked about it. It was one of the keys to the game was turnovers. Larissa doesn't see it coming from behind him. And there's the scoop. He makes a move outside and turns his head to see if anybody's coming behind him and he steps out of bounds. Came into this game leading the FBS in sacks with eight and a half. He's in trouble here and Shanley will go down. That time he was brought down by Old Dominion tonight, two out of eight on third down. Play action, he wants a sideline, he wants Duhart, and Duhart goes up and snatches it. On a line. LaRusso with a soft touch finds his man. This is Harper, Harper at the 10, at the five, and is stopped by Key at the two. Strong in the back in the backfield. Handoff strong in the end zone for the touchdown. See what the Monarchs style up here. They got four guys out wide and they're all good. But they spread things out as well, which could leave a gap for Strong. They're gonna throw it. So LaRusso with time. LaRusso in the end zone and it is caught to tie the game at 27. Oh. Brown with the reception. Neither team has really had much success with the wind at their back throwing the ball. Shanley floats one for Sloan, and Sloan shoved out of bounds in Old Dominion territory well, from being in the booth to calling plays down on the field. And yeah, you saw one of them blowing in his hands. I don't know if that's a signal or if his hands are cold. Big run up the middle. For... That's what happens when the wind gusts up to 30 miles an hour at the stadium. A first down run for Samuel. Too quickly, the thinking here for Western Kentucky. Quarterback keeper and Shanley down at the two. Now we got third and goal. This is Appleberry in the backfield with the two tight end set. Handoff to Appleberry with room off the left side and Appleberry fights his way in the end zone for the go ahead touchdown with 137 left in the game. 45 seconds, LaRusso. Surveys the defense, throws in traffic, and it's almost intercepted. It was deflected. We're not set. They didn't know where they were going, and they still were able to make a play. So here's the game, and the Monarchs keep it on the ground, and Strong lunges forward for the first down, stopping the clock momentarily with 38 seconds. LaRusa saying, let me clock it, and he does. He almost lost his helmet in the process, it looked like. Five wide for LaRusa. LaRusa down the field and what a catch in Western Kentucky territory. First catch of the game for the tight end, Keon Whites, the freshman from Garner, North Carolina. Clock's running again. So 21 seconds left. LaRusa again goes deep and it is caught at the 15 at the 10 at the 5 with 11 seconds left old dominion has a timeout and they will take it as that time it was called by isaiah harper they were trying to Time strip out. the ball old dominion their final it'll be 30 seconds that's their last time out harper caught the, the six old dominion down by a touchdown they spread it out again I don't think they want to run the ball. Here comes the blitz in the end zone. Touchdown, Old Dominion with nine seconds left in the game. Wow, what a drive. Just a slant in the end zone. And now Old Dominion doesn't have enough players out on the field. They and have they can't eight call seconds a timeout to do either. this. They can't call a timeout either. It's the freshman running out on the field. Oh, yeah. Now they reset it. And now Mike Sanford is absolutely livid. Oh, uh, you should be. Why would they reset? That's. Why would they reset? Look at look at Coach Sanford. There was four seconds left, and He's now West call Kentucky time. calls a timeout. He wants to talk to the White Hat, going, "Why did you reset?" 
So the Time player out. late getting out Western on the field. Seconds. It was second. It'll be 30 seconds. A tight end was very late getting out on the field. Look at Sanford. He's, he wants to talk to the white hat, figure out why in the world you'd reset the clock. You can read his lips. He just said, how in the world? Well, I mean, they could have taken a penalty and moved it back. You know, delay game penalty moves it back five, which is not that big a deal unless you're kicking into a 30-mile-an-hour win, <laughs> which makes it a big deal. He's missed one extra point in his career. And he's pretty solid, huh? This to tie the game at 34. Well, if he's had many extra points with this much pressure on. Hold is good by Kate. The kick is up, and it is good. So with nine seconds left in the game, Old Dominion goes eight plays, 79 yards, and it took a minute. Secondary, secondary is all the way back at their own 30. It's a handoff with five seconds left. Here's from bounce. room for LaFrance, and LaFrance is down with two seconds left. West Kentucky has a timeout. They will use one. Old Dominion sends Travis Folger back to the goal line to play defense. Over the middle, and it's dropped, oh. and that's how There's this game will head into overtime. Flag. A flag is back around the line of scrimmage, though, at the 40. Looks like they might have hit the quarterback late. Boy, that's not a wise decision if that's the call. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Defense, number 17, 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. There'll be one untimed down. In an untimed down play, so they get another shot at it. And it looked like they were getting ready to do a lateral after the catch. Watch Shanley as he gets ready to throw it back. And then he gets pushed in the face. You had a late offensive lineman. They're gonna, they're gonna kick it. It's a 57 yard attempt with a 30 mile an hour wind at his back. And remember, Old Dominion doesn't have any timeouts. So Alex, Ranella on to attempt a game-winning field goal. His career long is 50. Kick is up, doesn't have the distance, and we are heading to overtime. Wow. What a contest this has been. Tied at 34 after four quarters. Uh, officials looking like I didn't see a flag, but the official's out there like he's ready to make a call. The previous play is under review. I got too many players, you just throw a flag. Looks like that's 10. After review, it was determined that the defense had 12 members on the field during the live ball. It's a five yard penalty for illegal substitution. We'll replay first down. Yeah, two <laughs> times in a row. Now it's a 52-yard attempt. The last time he hit it at the base of the case, so he's five yards closer. It didn't look like he caught it, so if he catches it cleanly, this could be within his range. Alex Ranella for the win. The kick is up, and Old Dominion has a return man back there. This is Harper. Harper at the 25. Harper with some room here. Harper in midfield. Are you Harper me? at the 30. Can he stay on his feet? Harper at the 15 oh. and is out of bounds and a flag is down at the 20. Are we going to have a third untimed down? Or is that a hold? Wow, what a return by Harper. During the return of the kick, personal foul, face mask. 77. The penalty is half the distance to the goal from the end of the return. There'll be one untimed down. First down, Old Dominion. Play in a row. We have a, a penalty with no time left. And so now Old Dominion will kick a field goal from the eight-yard line. So Bailey Kate is the holder. Broughton Hatcher is the long snapper, kicking into the win. So Nick Rice for the win. The kick is up, and it's good. And Old Dominion picks up their first conference victory on the season. Are you kidding me? Oh, what a crazy ending for a game. Wow.